When you're just starting out in your design career, UI kits are a great resource to have because you can explore more experienced designers, how they structure their files, how some designs are created, and you can really explore the techniques more experienced designers used to create designs and you can simply copy those techniques and then simply later on when you work and work and have some experience in design you can simply adapt those techniques and create your own so to get started you can go to adobe.com slash products slash xd slash resources and get the ui kits that you want you can see that ui kits is selected right here and as i explained in the ui kits video you can choose from uh, Apple design, material design for Google and Microsoft UWP design, but you can also go down and explore all of these different UI kits that you can use for your personal and commercial projects. And in today's video, we're going to use this Navigo UI kit and you can simply go to this page and hit download. And if you want a shortcut to this page, you can simply go to home in your XD. You can click add-ons and then click UI kits and it will take you to that page. So when you download Navigo UI kits, all of these UI kits are going to be a bit different because of their structure, how many screens are included inside, as well as which components and assets are included uh, in the download. And you can use them on this particular page or you can go to here and then simply click, for example, this is for iPhone, you can click on the iPhone and it will open that artboard uh, in the new document and you can simply copy and paste the elements to this particular artboard. So let's quickly explore it. You can see in the asset panel right here because asset panel is selected that we have some missing fonts but let's go from the top. You have the colors so you can right click on these colors, edit them and simply adjust however you want them to look like and you can see them updated in real time. This is also useful if you have a client dedicated color so this is the main color and for example if I choose this nice blue 3ec6ff press enter you can see that it goes to blue and everything changes to blue now this is an awesome feature to have inside of Adobe XD especially if the client is changing their mind they want to explore a um, for example, darker colors or lighter colors or different colors all together. And you can simply jump right here and change all of these colors at once. You can do that for all of these different colors. Below that we have fonts and some of these fonts are missing, but that's really not an issue. You can download and install these fonts, but you can also use your own fonts. Below that we have the components and all of these different components from icons, cards, posts and so on are selected uh, by this designer and created and you can click right here to expand the view and you can also expand this if you want to however you want to and you can get a greater and clearer picture right here to some of these components so you can really adapt it to your needs you can make it as wide or as tall if as you want and you can also bring it back like this so let's explore these ui kits and as i said all of them are a bit different but with this navigo ui kit you have this basically tutorial right here and you can hit play button uh, right here to preview this prototype. And for example, if I click somewhere out here, let's see what, yeah, you can see right here and you can type, for example, you can go back and you can really explore this prototype uh, into more details. But let's get started. You can see in the assets panel right here, you can change the fonts, colors, everything as I explained and you can find this font on the type kit fonts Gibson if you want to use exactly the same font as this designer did. And we have the guide right here below. So we have the basic elements, we have headers and inputs, we have the card. So all of these different assets and components which are created right here, we also have right here. So you can select them, copy them from here and then paste them to your own design. And I'm going to show you in just a moment how you can do that easily. Next, we have main app, so you can see uh, some exploration, you can see some maps, cards, and so on. We have the splash screen, which is the main screen as the user opens the app. Then we have the guide, which is going to guide users through the welcome screens and get started screens and so on. And we have few variations on that. We have sign in and sign up screens right here. Next, we have activity and profiles, all of those created using these different components. And you can really explore these and change them as you will. Next, we have stats and info. So we have basically all of this activity, statistics, history, music, and so on. 
below that we have menus and extras so all of these extras are basically pop-up screens and menus you can see and you can change them at will now when it comes to ui kits you can work in this document so i can simply click right here because i know these are iphone screens and i can simply click for example on some of these let's click on this one for example and it will create that artboard for me right here and i can simply jump inside and type in home screen for example press enter and that is going to be my home screen so i can simply jump inside as i said you can use these basic elements and components or you can use different elements from these screens and also another way is as i said you can jump here then click here on the iphone uh, artboard and it will open that artboard in a new document you can double click right here change its name and do basically the same thing but for the sake of time we're just going to use this same document so you can jump back and for example let's use these base elements you can jump to the layers panel right here and you can see base folder right here now to jump deeper inside of some of these you can hit Control or command and you can click inside and it will take you directly to that layer and you can see let's just use this one so you can hit Control c and you can jump all the way to your artboard that's why i said maybe it's a better solution to use a separate document and let's do that just so that you can see some more features so let's use this and i'm going to simply name it home screen from here and i'm going to hit Control v to paste this element in place i can click right here to position it to the top and I can enlarge this if I want so you can hit Control 0 to snap into position you can minimize this and now let's go back and for example maybe I want to use this so you can see headers are right here and once again you can hit Control, click inside find this header it's this one as you can see this is the one which is selected you can hit Control C and then jump into your other XD document hit Control V and now because we don't need this status bar anymore because we have it right here i'm just going to delete it because we have it conveniently uh, placed inside of this header so i can switch back what i need right now are some cards maybe i can choose this card and i can open it up and see which one it is it's this first one you can hit Control c and as you can see it's created as a component you can jump back to your other file, hit Control V, and then simply position it however you want. I will line them up and then simply hit Shift and bottom arrow, one, two, three, four, or maybe even two to position it 20 pixels from this header. I can also move it just below because it's below the header. And I can then simply jump back and maybe I can use some other elements from here. Maybe I can use this card, I like it, hit Control C jump into your other file, hit Control V, and then simply move it at the same distance as the one at the top. So you can line it up like this. As you can see, it shows 20 pixels. And let's say that this is our screen and maybe we want to use something for the bottom of our screen. Maybe we can find it, so for example, either a button or we can create a tab bar. So we can create a tab bar by simply going to the home indicator because we want users uh, to be able to get out of this app you can position it down at the bottom and now i just need some icons right here i can simply switch back locate their icons and i really encourage you to use your own icons or maybe we can see if they created some tab bar of their own for this app they didn't but it doesn't matter we're just going to create our own so you can jump inside the icons and you can simply select whichever icons you want so perhaps maybe i want to use this icon which is for filter search share and let's use this one for settings for example you can hit Control c jump into your other file hit Control v and then simply hit Control g and call this tab bar move it all the way down below and home indicator is going to go all the way down so locate the tab bar and you can hold shift and bottom arrow to nudge it all the way down and what i'm going to do is simply reposition some of them so for example i'll move this down search is going to be our second app this is going to be our first app and 
perhaps maybe we can switch settings and share so you can hit shift and arrows to nudge all of these icons left and right and what i'm simply going to do is reposition them so shift one two three four for example and then simply select these two by holding shift and i can position it to here for example shift one two three four and then finally do the same for this one one two three four or maybe even six then select this and select this and move it 20 pixels to the right to the left sorry and then simply click right here to position them in the center and you can also nudge them for example 20 pixels up from this uh, home indicator so that's basically how you use these ui kits and now let's just quickly change this to be home screen and now if you want to change any of these you can simply double click inside you can see that the font is missing but you can change this font to something else so for example roboto press enter and you can see how that looks like and if I jump to here to assets panel, you can see that it transferred all of these different assets from the original file. But if you want to make them local file, you can do that. And simply you can select all of them, right click and you can delete. And it's going to delete all of those different assets. And when you jump back to a layers panel and open some of them, you can see that there are no longer assets included right here. Now to create your own personal assets, you can simply change these. So for example, I just want this to be called filter. I just want this to be called search. And you can select this text and just leave the search in. I just want to do this same thing for the share. And finally, same thing for the settings so i just want to create my own and as you can see they all have these backgrounds so if i open all of them up you can see all of these bg layers which are for backgrounds i don't need them so you can open all of them hold control click on first one and then simply click on all of them hit delete and it's going to delete all of those background layers now if you want to create assets from them you can simply click on first one hit control or command k and do the same for all of them and now if i jump back to my assets panel you can see that now we have our apps here now if you want to select some of these colors so for example i like this white color you can simply click right here and as you can see it shows these missing fonts and you can fix them by installing this font or you can simply change the font right here now for example if i want to change any of these maybe i want to create this image to be larger i can jump back to my layers panel hold control click inside you can see picture and you can see that it has quite a big corner radius but perhaps i want to make it smaller maybe five press enter you can see how that looks like and if you want to expand it you can do the same perhaps i want to position these icons on top of the image like so and maybe i want this image to cover everything up to here for example and all i have to do is simply move it right here so everything all of these different elements will come on top and perhaps if i even want to change this image all you have to do is have your folder with your images uh, open like i do and for example you can simply select one image drag and drop it inside and it will fill this background layer with your image and you can also play around with even more settings for it and let me quickly create a darker image as a background like so and what i want to do from here is simply select all of them and maybe i want to make them white so like this and you can locate the content so this is author and just make sure that uh, you understand that some of these are not really um, all that well positioned so as you can see we have too many different folders for my liking at least but you can really play around with it and you can create your own structure so for example you can see that everything uh, on this card is located into this content folder if you find that confusing you can right click ungroup and then group your own or just simply leave it like this outside now let's quickly change these so i can select all of them using shift and i can simply click and choose the white color for here and that's basically how you edit these ui kits as i said you could change these fonts so what we used here is roboto i can maybe select these 
and I can select these two texts and maybe even all of them like so and then simply choose a Roboto from right here press enter and it's going to apply that selection to all of these different fonts and obviously you can do the same for all of them now just imagine that we want to change the color of this card to access it more easily you can hit control click inside and then simply change the color of this card to whichever color you want perhaps I want to make it a lot darker perhaps like this maybe I want to go to this direction and perhaps I want to change the color of this text to white so I can simply click right here apply that or if you have the color selected you can simply click right here and it will apply that color to that text so that's how easy it is to create using UI kits as you can see all you have to do is really copy and paste some of these elements and then you can jump inside and edit all of them you can reposition these you can include different drop shadows so if I hit control and click inside this BG if I open it up inside of my layers panel and scroll down you can see that it has this background shadow as well as the background blur if you don't like how that looks like you can simply switch it off or if you want to use that same effect on some of these you can simply click on it right click copy and then simply for example on this one right click and paste appearance but just so you know it's going to paste exactly the same appearance from this one to this one so as you can see it changed from that dark color to this white color but you can jump inside and simply select it from here once again or you can simply locate it uh, here in your asset panel if you have it and then you can apply that color so here it is and then you can simply apply that same color as you can see because all of these edges are straight it moved all of those edges to be straight on this one as well but you can switch it back and use 10 for example and see how that looks like so you can really edit it further and further so that's how easy it is to use UI kits. I really encourage you if you're just getting started to download, play around with them. You don't have to use one UI kit for your project. You can use several different UI kits, but just make sure that you have some consistency. So for example, if your fonts right here are 16, for example, don't make this one to be 30, this one to be 15 and so on. Don't use usually more than two different font styles maybe even three but just don't go over that if you're using colors just make sure you stay consistent with your color palette you don't use too many different colors so you don't have for example 50 different colors just have like five six seven colors something like that and just work your way around it see what works best for your design and then simply explore play around with xd play around with these ui kits because once again they are free and you can use any of them however you want and you can really play around with them and I really encourage you to think of your own project and then simply work your way around these UI kits to create that project just think which screens do I need and then simply apply these techniques to that UI kit and that final design of yours that you want to create.